Welcome everybody. Have you ever forgotten to pan your camera around while you were filming the scene? No problem with Filmora 11. Let me show you how you can do this very, very easily. We'll start with some brand new footage for you. Filmora 11 includes a whole ton of stock media and whenever you download one, it automatically saves it in your download folder for you. And you can even mark it as a favorite. Let's see if we can find that cow picture real quick. So here's a um, little video clip of some cows walking around in the field. We'll just drag that down. Take the default settings. Let's scroll over so we're only working with this. So I'll just pan across for you, scroll across for you real fast. So this has no zoom and no pan. It's just a, a quick little video of some cows walking around in the field. Uh, what I did was pick the point where I want the pan to start and we just split it. Right click the highlighted clip, scroll up to crop and zoom or alt C, crop and zoom. It defaults to crop so you can crop and when you're cropping something you're zooming in on an area and you're removing everything else. So all of that out there will go away. I'll show you a quick example of how that works. So now it's just the cow itself, that cow, okay? That can be incredibly useful by itself. Right click on the selected portion of the clip that you want to do some panning on. Choose pan and zoom right here at the top. And you're gonna notice that you see two boxes. Let's highlight them. One box says end, one box says start. It always defaults with the start box encompassing the entire scene. The end box is where we want to pan the camera to. So if we want the camera, and watch the arrow go. So if we want the camera to pan over to this cow, we can grab the corners and just focus on that cow alone. Okay, so we start with the whole picture. And when we get to the end of the scene, it gets down there. Okay, let's watch that happen. Okay, there it goes. And there's Mr. Cow. What else can you do with this tool? It's pretty amazing the things you can do. You can get pretty creative with it, too. Let's reset it. Now, right here, you've probably seen these things and never clicked on them or knew what they were. These are some presets. Let's choose from far to near, okay? It's kind of what it's set to right now, far to near. This one is near to far. You notice they switched. Start, went to the middle, and went out. Let's just look at that as a default and see what that did. So we see we went from near to far. Let's reset it. Let's choose this one. This one goes from left to right. This one goes right to left. And this one you can swap the uh, start and end points, which is pretty cool. Let's take one at a time. We'll go left to right. Start, end. So you already know what's going to happen. We're going to pan from the left to the right. Pretty wild, huh? The other preset just does the opposite of that. So we'll have to go ahead and reset again. The other one goes the other way. Now these swap. So let's do a little um, similar thing we did a minute ago. So we're going to focus in on that cow. And then we're going to hit this button and swap them. So now we're going to start with the focus of the cow. And we're going to end with the whole picture. Get that stretch back out. Ready? Go. And now it's just kind of pans itself out and pulls the whole picture in. That is a very powerful technique, guys, very powerful technique. You can get, um, let's say you're focusing, let's say you put your camera on a, let's say you're on a bridge and you're focused in on the water and then you can pan, you get the whole picture, but then you can pan it back and pull the, um, the bridge into the picture too, or something like that. Anyway, let's go back up and reset again. And let's look at the actual examples I used in my demo because I did a couple of crazy things there. So we started with just the cows walking. Then 
I did, as I showed you, I zoomed in. I stuck a little silly element on the screen. And the one I did with the girls was uh, very interesting. I did two different pans. So this one is pretty much normal. I did a little fade there. Now here, so you see that's the real image. Then here, I panned it way up. And I can show you that. So you can see I have it way up here. So I started with a small section which focused in on their heads. And then I panned down towards about midway, like so. And then I wanted to get in on the, on the feet because, you know, let's pretend like this was like a running video. So here, I simply pulled it down. So I used the whole picture, but then I pulled it very slightly down and you notice I square, I rectangular the box. Instead of making it square, I made it rectangular. I was just wanted to catch the feet. Like so. And then here, I added a little effect called clone to the right. So I cloned some of the legs to the right. Just to make it look like it was a blur. And then I fade it out. And that's how you do that. All really easy. And it can add so much to your video. Let's go back to the cows. Now, we're going to fo not focus on any of these other ones. There'll be some different videos for these. We're focusing on everything inside of here. So crop. Go over it one more time. So let's just say I want to crop that cow. I'll just leave it right where it is. I just want to crop that cow. Which means I'm going to take everything in this picture out. Okay. Now, all I got is a cow. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. Let's go back to crop and zoom. So that was just a plain old crop. Now, down here, you can change the ratio. And very, very often, I'd actually say almost every time, I go to custom. Uh, because with custom, I can do this. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do whatever I want with custom. When you're set on a 16 by 9 or whatever, uh, it's going to constrain it to that. So if you want to really get something crazy, you got to come down to custom. And uh, we can do something like this and just catch these two cows right here. Like so. See? All right, let's clear that. Let's go back to pan and zoom, one of my favorite things. So again, start is already highlighted. And go to end now this time we want to let's um let's put the end up in the corner we're going to just kind of look off into outer space oh actually let's go back to crop and reset that first so it's pretty much a normal picture all right so here we go we're going to go pan and zoom so we're going to take the end up into the corner shrink it down we just kind of fade the camera away up into the sky. And the start is currently the whole picture, but let's try something a little different. Let's take the start in this corner. So we're going to pan up and to the right. Will that work? Can we do that? Let's find out. And here we go. Up, up, and away. And from here, you could even freeze frame it and and zoom in on a building or something like that to give some kind of effect. So let's say you really, the whole video was about um, that building right there. Uh, this is a way you could introduce that building. So you could just focus in on that building and uh, just kind of pause it right there, freeze frame it, and then just scale up or whatever you want it to do at that stage. So that's one way you can use it to get some pretty dramatic effects. You can reset it. Uh, these these are really good too. Let's just say you need some movement. Let's just say you have um, um, a pretty boring video there of just, of just a clip uh, while you're talking. Uh, you just got like a cow or a horse or something just kind of standing there. Um, you can just simply go to left to right or right to left or whatever you want to do and just have a little movement. Have a little movement. You always want, you always want movement in your video. Okay. 
And that's it. That is pan and zoom with Filmora 11. It is super, super easy. Cropping is easy. Pan and zoom is super fun. Uh, I edit to a lot of my videos. Uh, it's really fun to actually put it in some of my tutorials as well. So if I'm showing you something over here, you know, this would be, I would record this, bring it back down in, and then pan and zoom. So the image would, would kind of move up to the right, and then I would put an arrow up here to sample media or something. So you can use this in all kinds of ways. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments, and we'll see you real soon on the next video.